I'm Leonard Miller, and I'm here with Kay Applin, that, a, a ceramic artist of great renown. Uh, and she has created the Ceramic House, uh, which is famous in Brighton. And you can see the beautiful things that she's recreated uh, with recycled tiles and with her own imagination uh, from projects throughout the world. I'm here with, um, with Kay uh, Applin. And, uh, and all this is, is the product of her creativity and her imagination and her wonderful artistic spirit. So Kay, will you tell us a little bit about what you actually do and what you've been doing for the past 20 years? I, I'm a, I've an architectural ceramicist. Yes, and explain what that uh, is for us. Well, I studied public art and design at mm -hmm. Chelsea mm -hmm. back in the 90s and I make permanent installations for public spaces. You said that you have created this in less than three years. She's done all this. I'm sure that you're getting the, this, the immense spectrum <laughs> of this, this wall and the things in the garden. Can you talk a little bit about what these are from and what you're, where sure, you've sure, gone with them? Sure. The first thing I did was the bathroom and that was because I did a loft conversion mm -hmm. and put a new bathroom in and I thought well what shall I tile the bathroom with and given that I've got a stock cupboard of leftover tiles from all my commissions so I just rummaged through and picked some. So this is all recycled material in a way. Is oh it yeah not? definitely. It's but recycled and redesigned. Let's go in there and Thank let's you. see what we can talk about there. When you finish a project, you take the leftovers home. Is that oh, what you do? Oh, yeah. I mean, I didn't even send them the ones that I went out. You oh, know, I, I just see. sent them the ones that they needed and realized I actually had loads left over. But then you have to sit and, and fit them in, or did you have to cut these to fit? Oh, no. They're all, these are all press molded, so each one of these shapes has got its own plaster mold that you bash the clay into yeah, I just to make it over the strength. <laughs> I can't yeah. get over the strength of, of There's doing a lot this. of. Yes. Yeah. The technique that you're talking about is the firing process. Yes. And for me, it's brand new because I have always used an electric kiln mm -hmm. and uh, glazes, which are what well, we call them oxidized firing. So it's, it's uh, when you, put, you, you, you glaze your pieces, you put them into an electric kiln and you come back three days later and it's finished. It's the first time in, in a 20 year career that I've had the chance to just do something for myself. What an amazing experience this has been. I want to thank Kay Applin for sharing her artistic spirit and her beautiful creations with us. And now it's back to you, Guy.